If you stepped outside today, you might have had a hard time keeping your balance. Yeah, walking more like ice skating today. Sidewalks covered in ice and it begs the question, who is liable if you slip and fall on someone else's property or someone slips on yours? Gabriella Becerra is live in Milwaukee with an attorney's advice tonight. Gabby. Well, Natalie and Jessup, a local attorney tells me that they see an uptick in slip and fall cases this time of year, and it's not hard to figure out why. You can see I have no trouble moving my boots around on this ice right now, but figuring out who's responsible all comes down to where you fall. It's very difficult to be successful in a claim on a typical city sidewalk slip and fall. Even though homeowners have the obligation to clear their portion of the sidewalk from snow and ice, Attorney David Roth says homeowners likely aren't responsible if someone slips and falls. The city likely won't have to take the blame either. There's something called the three week rule where a city or other municipality actually has three weeks to clear the snow or ice before they could be liable. It's called an absolute immunity. If you slip and fall in front of or in the parking lot of a business, you have a better chance of filing a successful claim. The safe place statute says that if you're a the employer or property owner, you have to maintain the premises as safe as the nature would reasonably permit. Ross says the claim balances the safe place statute against the plaintiff's general obligation to be aware of their own safety and surroundings. A lot of things come into factor when you're talking about proving negligence against a property owner. It could be the time of day. Uh, when did the precipitation start? Uh, was it still actively precipitating at the time of your fall? And if you're hurt in a slip and fall accident, Roth recommends that you reach out to an attorney right away. They can help you figure out if you should file a claim or not. And he also recommends taking pictures where you fall to make sure you capture what the surroundings looked like. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Gabriella Becerra, CBS 58 News.